must be just a standard line. No, 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 no. I'll try carefully. I want you to try and remember everything the man said, word for word. Well, he appealed to my patriotism. He said what Cisco was doing was very important to the nation. That's pretty standard stuff. And he probably told you that Cisco deeply believed in everything he was doing and didn't want it jeopardized by you doing something foolish, right? I wrote the book, remember? And what? Uh, you said that I shouldn't pursue it because if the enemy finds out that the, that the WSB lost Frisco, then that would compromise other operations. That's what it was. Compromise other operations? I always did love that line. <laughs> What's next? Um, well, you said that the only thing that you could tell me that the last contact they had with Frisco was on this continent. That is it. That's it. What? The continent, this continent is very big. I know, I know. I, I also know that Kimley just blew it. You see, this is the business of waiting for the other guy to make little mistakes, sweetheart. And that's exactly what Kimley did. He's now leading me exactly where I have to go. I understand. To his North American operations file. Uh, it's top secret. Eyes only. Clearance required. Sophisticated electronic systems. Country you now. Should be for the kid. But you don't have security clearance anymore. Sweetheart, I have universal security clearance right here. And one time in Moscow... You're going to break into the WSB, son? I don't want you to do anything dangerous. Unless I have lost my touch, it's not going to be dangerous. My black bag has a lot of little tricks in it. But I'm going to need your help. Well, the page should bring Irma down in no time at all. I think you'll find the psychiatric department very interesting, particularly with the Irma guiding the tour. You know, don't you forget to tell Simone that I said hi, please. <laughs> you know, sometimes I just can't help thinking that if you had been here, I would have been able to assign Cheryl to you. You know, for counseling on a consistent basis. And I just think that none of this stuff would have happened. I agree. Uh-oh. Uh-oh was right. I think it would be better if they didn't see me around here. It was the way with whatever you do. Don't start acting like a fugitive. Just uh, smile and be very cool and calm. And uh, take your time and mingle very discreetly. Uh, very discreetly, I'd say. I just came by to see Dad for a couple of minutes not to get him in any more trouble. But don't worry about it. What I will do is I will take them on up to the department and uh, show them around. That should give you some time to talk with your dad. Okay, All right. thank you. It's so good to see you again, Tom. You too. Take care. See you later. Bye. Everything's going pretty well, I think. Yeah. Well, Hello. here she is. <laughs> good, good. Hi, hi. Sorry hi. to keep you waiting. Not at all, not at all. Well, I leave you folks in the capable hands of Dr. Foster and go do some uh, monotonous paperwork. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, hi. Hello again. Hello. Um, um, I'm going to take you up to see the psychiatric department, but before we begin, if you have any questions, anything, please... Uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. I just wanted to introduce myself to the committee. I'm Scotty Baldwin, attorney for the hospital. Hello, Dr. McLennan. Nice to meet you. Hi, Dr. Kepler. Doctor? Dr. Brandt. Me too. I'm sure you're going to be very impressed with our psychiatric unit now that Tom Hardy's back on the job. Uh, I'm sorry, he is very new. That's not quite accurate. Uh, Tom still has some time left on his suspension. Oh, well, I saw him going to Cheryl Stansberry's room. You know, the patient that disappeared. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to imply that we misplace our patients. Certainly not. I don't know how she could have gone past security. Oh, uh, well, um, Tom, uh, it's true, Tom has come up to visit Cheryl because they happen to be very old and very dear friends, and so that's why he came up, just as he is here today to, to chat with his father. See? Yeah. What's all this about uh, Cheryl Stansby missing? I mean, is it customary for patients in this place to get up and leave and nobody knows? Robert, if you'll just calm down for okay, a moment. all right, tell me, who is running security around here these days? It's usually very capable. All right, then I want to talk to that person. I also want to talk to the nurse who was on duty last night and this morning. I want to see a record of the round. Plus, any security people who may have been in the vicinity at the time. I just mingle with all the employees. Some going in, some coming out. Find myself a place to hide and wait for the building to empty. Well, what if they see you? 
That's the whole idea, honey. Nobody is going to ask me if I belong or if I look and act as if I do. Now, what time do you have? About a quarter after five. All right, make it exactly a quarter after five. All right, good. Now, it'll take me about 20 minutes to find my hiding spot. But nothing's going to happen until eight o'clock. By then, most of the lights in that building will be on. A little after 8 o'clock, they're all going to go out. That is your signal that I'm on my way to Kinley's office. At 8.20, I should be finished with my search. Mm -hmm. All of the lights will go back on, and exactly at 8.25, I'll be back here in the car with you. What if you're not? And we go to plan B with your diversion. Get me out of the building. Got it? I think so. Alicia, if there's any doubt about this... No, 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 I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. No clothes missing. Wherever she went, she certainly didn't come here. Did any of the employees see her? No. So what's the problem, anyway? I mean, if the lady's healthy enough to leave the hospital, why try to stop her? Why not let her go? I mean, she probably stopped out to get a, a decent meal. Well, no, it's not that simple. She's really very sick. Why would she skip? Well, all I know is she hasn't turned turn up here. I can use a drink. What do you think? Yeah, all right. Uh... I wish there was something we could do there. Well, I don't think there's much you can do at the moment. Why don't we wait around here? Cheryl may show up. Robert may show up. Come on. Let's have a drink and wait.